Our playing field is reset as the timer starts for qualification match number 37 of SimChamps 2020. First on the move, looks like the Red Alliance scores coming in from all three of those Red Alliance robots, blue right behind them. Again, SimChamps is mostly about efficiency. How quickly can these robots cycle between their loading zone and their scoring position? And of course, how accurate is their scoring position once they get there? Following Alex G in red right now, they line up putting up at least 14 more points for the Red Alliance. Their partner, Woosh Woosh, and now Jet, both on the initiation line for Red, putting up plenty more points of their own. Red has the lead here, 123 to 113, and the Power Cell lead by about four. Blue is working quickly to try to make up the gap. It is not a large gap between the red and blue alliance score. Michael in blue bumpers attempting to collect power cells from the playing field floor, but a big collision between two blue robots and one ro red robot that is Jet of the red alliance playing some defense against blue. Jet is trying to slow down the Blue Alliance as they make their way back to their loading zone. Deviato in blue lined up all by themselves on the initiation line for the Blue Alliance, putting up at least two points apiece for every power cell up into the outer port. Michael and Lol of the Blue Alliance do collide momentarily, but Lol now able to accurately unfurl an entire hopper full of power cells. That's going to narrow the gap between red and blue. In our final minute of this match, the Red Alliance does lead 226 to 197. Red scrambling to pick up more power cells from their loading zone. They're picking up all of them as soon as they're being entered by the Blue Alliance back behind the Alliance station wall. Both alliances need 20 more power cells to be able to achieve a ranking point for energizing their shield generator. In our infinite recharge sim, there are not shield generator stages. We will simply award the shield generator energized ranking point for any alliance that is able to score at least 90 power cells during their match. 20 seconds remaining. The Blue Alliance has now taken the lead for one of the first times this match. We see a Red Alliance robot respawn back on the initiation line. That's slowing down the Red Alliance, who now trails by 10 with 10 seconds remaining. The Blue Alliance is going to try to ensure a perfect end game to hang on to their lead as time expires. It looks like the Blue Alliance might have been able to pull it off here in qualification match number 37. After a streak of Red Alliance victories and a Red Alliance lead for the vast majority of the match, the Blue Alliance did pull it off 372 to 358. The Blue Alliance will walk away with four ranking points in that match. The Red Alliance walking away with one of their own for an end game score of more than 65. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.